sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your eyes. Right, 11 minutes into the hour. Kelly Kincaid. We like to do it every week to help improve the health of our citizens. Uh, today we're talking about we're talking about bone marrow and core blood sway you know those are powerful words you know throughout the year we talk about various topics and um, this is very important for me because this is a problem all throughout the U.S. because every four minutes someone is diagnosed with some type of blood cancer Mm -hmm. and today we have two individuals who are uh, coming up here to talk about it we have Shana Melius and Tamika Mallory now you know I'm impressed with you guys' accolades. You know, Tamika. Tamika was the former executive director of the National Action Network. That's a co- uh, founded by Reverend Al Sharpton, mm. and she has accolades from the NAACP, Ebony, Essence Magazine as one of the outstanding women under forty. Wow. Um, I want to start with you, exactly. <laughs> I want right to start now. with you, <laughs> um, Tamika, and and Shana is uh, representing Preserve Our Legacy, and she's been up here with us before. Her yes. and her husband Brett. I know Shana. Yeah. Yes. Tamika, you know, you've initiated a lot of different initiatives, uh, the National Day of Outrage, gun violence and 100 City Vigil for Trayvon Martin. Why did you join this? Well, first of all, health care is something that we have been working on. I've been working on through my work at the National Action Network for a long time. Mm -hmm. Um, As a matter of fact, we had a case uh, that I was talking to Shana about earlier, Jennifer Jones Austin, whose father was one of the renowned preachers uh, in Brooklyn. His daughter, Jennifer Jones, was diagnosed with leukemia as a grown woman and almost died. And it was because of the work that churches and the black community did to find her a bone marrow transplant that we were able to save her life. So we've been engaged in this type of work, and we think that health Healthcare is one of the single most important civil rights issues in our community because if we're not healthy, we can't help anyone and we can't help ourselves or our children. Right. You know, and Shana, preserve our legacy. Your mission is to educate individuals, especially those from ethnic groups. What's some stats as far as uh, ethnic groups and bone marrow uh, transplants and donors? Okay, well, um, just to start out crazy, uh, we have uh, with the, the registry over 70 percent is Caucasian. Mm -hmm. So there's five ethnic groups that are under 30 percent, which is, you know, African-American is 7 percent, specific Islanders, 3 percent, Asians, 7 percent, Native Americans, 1 percent, individuals that are biracial background, they're less than 1 percent. Latino. And then Latino is 10 percent of the registry. What is it? um, I think it's a, a lot of fear and ignorance. Uh, uh, misunderstanding about bone marrow transplants and, uh, you know, simple fears if people think it's a painful right. procedure to go through. Uh, another fear is, it do, does it regenerate bone marrow? If I give up my bone marrow, uh, will it ever come back? Um, I want to um, open up the phone lines to people's questions about bone marrow mm-hmm. transplants. Uh, if people need donors, if you've been a donor or you have a friend, a family member, uh, that is in this situation, call us 888-742-3345 and then let's dispel some of the myths. Yes. All right. First day with Kelly Kincaid. All right. 21 minutes into the hour. Very important topic today. We're talking about bone marrow and core blood. Uh, yeah, we're talking about bone <laughs> marrow and, and transplants, transplants and, and being and, a donor. We <laughs> were talking before we left. We talk about being a donor. Does it hurt? What's the myths? Uh-huh. And today I have Tamika Mallory, who is a nationally recognized civil rights leader and the founder and creator of Preserve Our Legacy, Shana Melius. So let's talk about being a bone marrow donor. Does it hurt? No, not at all. All it is is a swab on your, either side of your cheeks, actually both sides of your cheeks, and you're filling out an application. That's it. Okay, so okay. that's the myth. It doesn't hurt. So. How, how do you market the idea of donating to the to the communities, especially the ones that are kind of, you know, lackluster and participating? Well, the main part to market is the fact that they're not going to do a background check on you. Mm-hmm. They can't use your information mm-hmm. for anything else other than this. That's mm-hmm. the main key. 
Right. Yeah, I think that's a, an important piece is that people believe if they put their blood into a system that somehow yep. it shows up somewhere else and, you know, you can be arrested and all those different things. Um, but I think it, it's important for us to know that as long as we continue to do what you guys are doing this morning, Sway mm-hmm. and Kelly, spread the word. Yep. I think mm-hmm. people just don't know enough. They, as long as they have the right. information, they'll use it. You know, when you donate blood, they, they give you right. money. Right. <laughs> when, when, you, <laughs> when you donate bone marrow, what do they give you? Uh, nothing. It's just a joy of helping to save someone's life. And I mean, that's really what life's about, helping one another. Just like, as Tamika said, you guys are helping us spread the word. That's, yeah. that's all it is. And that's how you started Preserve Our Legacy. Be- and tell us about how did you, why did you start Preserve Our Legacy? Um, well, a couple of reasons. One, uh, my husband and I looked at our own reality. Um, I'm Cuban and African Americans. He's Caucasian. And when we have children and then if they ever get sick, how are we going to find a match for them? And, mm-hmm. that, and that was really, you know, and then the awareness aspect. It was kind of hard to articulate bone marrow because when you <laughs> say that bone marrow, they're like, oh, my God, you're going to take something out. And, yeah. it, and it's not it's not as bad as that. OK, we have people on the line at, you know, if you have any questions, 888-742-3345. Alex is in Maryland. Go ahead, Alex. How you doing? Welcome to the show. Very good. Good morning, Sway. Good morning, Heather B. Good morning, Tracy G. DJ Wonder and your special guest this morning. Good morning, everyone. Thank you. Good morning. Hi. Uh, First off, you know, I I just want to say I I listen every day. I love the show. This is one of the best morning shows anybody can listen to on any station. Just want to get that out the way. Damn, man. All right, man. Hey, man. You a citizen of Sway in the morning, man. Appreciate it. Yo, send him a gift. All right, go ahead. We go back from the 90s, man. I had those, man. King King Tech and Sway, I had all that. But, uh... (laughs) Well, Let's thank you, man. This. Send that man a drink. All right, what's your question? On this issue, you know, I think the big thing, like what she was saying, is just dispelling certain notions. Like, as somebody who's a blood donor myself, I think there are a lot of people that think that there is something more complicated to donating, you know, the marrow. But as she said, if it's something just as easy, I think more people really need to know. You just show up, they swab your cheeks, they take the blood, and that's it. But I think there are a lot of misconceptions that I used to have as well that I used to think that if you donated the bone marrow, that there was some sort of a follow-up treatment, that something more evasive was happening than just blood donating, and that I had to do a certain type of follow-up with that. Mm. So I think in today's day and age of everybody's busy, everybody's got their own problems, I think that the if people really know it's just as simple as just show up, they take your blood, and you get your cookie and juice and that's it, then uh, I think it'd be a lot easier that way. But thank you very much for what y'all are doing this morning. Man, thank you, Alex. So you do get cookies. Yeah, you get something, well, right? Okay. <laughs> that, well, you can get cookies when you donate blood, and that's also kind of like the misconceptions. There's two different types. You can donate blood, and then you're donating marrow. Those are two different things. Donating blood, you just have to have the same blood type. When yeah. you donate marrow, your DNA has to be similar. Mm-hmm. And that's the genetic makeup. That's the so difference. So your husband being Caucasian, he couldn't donate bone marrow to me. No. I mean, technically, no. However, oh. on Oprah years back, there was a guy from, like, Germany, and it was a black kid that was here in America, and he was actually a match. Oh. So because we're African-American, it's a bunch of diversity in our gene pool. Uh-huh. So we more likely can receive from a Caucasian, however, and then sometimes they might can even receive from us, uh-huh. but it depends on their genetic background so dj wonder could donate his bone marrow to me <laughs> i just can't donate it to him it depends okay all right we got all right good morning caller how, how you doing what's your name hello line hey. two yeah go ahead man he's in alabama what's your name i'm john john how you doing okay what, what would you like to say john i'm good um my dad was a uh, had leukemia he had it since i was like born like 19 years uh he got a bone marrow transplant from his younger sister, and that was about, like, five years, six years ago. They're both doing, like, fine now. There's, wow. like, not really any complications. Mm, I mean, he's great. busting ass working right now. Man, that's great. That's great. you say, is he lucky? Or yeah. Is that, yeah, he's lucky. Because generally, it's 25% chance, one in four, ch- you know, percent, one in four people. Uh-huh. Jaden, as an example on why we started the organization, his own brother wasn't a match, nor his parents. Uh-huh. So it depends. Um, just uh-huh. like Jennifer Jones, Austin, when she did a transplant, um, a, a core blood transplant, you know, but it depends. It's really your genes. Right. Yeah. And I was just going to yeah, say, it, go ahead. It, it was uh, 
one sibling out of nine other, yep. like eight other mm. brothers and wow. sisters. Yep. Wow. Man, congratulations, yes. John. I'm glad your dad and your sister are both doing yeah. well, man. Yes. Thanks for sharing that call. And when you say uh, he's lucky, when I look at my own life, my brother 30 years ago died of leukemia. Mm. And at that time, he th- there was no technology. This whole idea of bone marrow transplant, my parents didn't know what to do. So if we were in a time when people could be more aware okay. and use what the resources that we have within our own community to save lives, why not? do that you know and Mm -hmm. and when you talked about giving away money that's a great thing but saving a life has got to be more important and more valuable to us than anything else Mm -hmm. absolutely and um i appreciate you guys coming by is there a a location people could reach out to if they want to find out more yeah, they can go to the website, which is www.preserveourlegacy, and that's P-R-E, PreserveOurLegacy.org. It's Sway in the Morning, only on Shade 45.